If you're new to Japanese style mahjong, also known as reach, you may be interested in a primer for English speaking players. It's by Dana Chiba. There's a link below the video so that you can download it. It's got some great introductory information, very fundamental um, information about how to play reach. And then there's some advanced information in there as well, like weights and reach judgment. So I've been focusing on these things and I'm trying to incorporate them in the way that I play. I'm going to play some solitaire and see what I can learn. If you're new to Japanese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play some solitaire. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. I have them over here on the side so that we can keep track of the number of tiles left to be drawn. Because that does matter. This game is uh, very strategic and you want to make sure that you're making decisions based on the tiles left in play. So let's flip Dora here. Five crack is Dora. And we'll deal the tiles. 14 for east, 13 for south, west, and north. Okay, everybody has their tiles. So I'm going to focus on a few things. Number one, I'm going to focus on the five block method. And then I'm going to, and I'll explain that as we go, if you don't know about it. Then I'm going to focus on what I call waypoints, speed to 10 pi, which basically 10 pi means that you're ready to win. So speed to 10 pi in six discards, the value of the hand, the strength of the weight, and then finally reach judgment. Basically, whether to reach or whether to hold a ready hand, and then what to do if an opponent reaches. Those are the things that I am focused on right now. It's going to take me a while to incorporate all of those, but I am starting to memorize these, and it is feeling more and more comfortable. I think these exercises really help kind of drill those concepts in. So let's see what we can do for East. Okay, so for East, we have four discards to clear to Hanitsu, which is called a half flush. So we do have single honors, which are not useful as singles in this case. We do have a Chi here, a Pwn, but we could break that out into a potential Chi as well. We do have a pair here. I think I would hold that for a little while because if we did pair up, we could maybe play all Pwn. Pwn is three of a kind. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for South. Woo! They've got honors. Oh! Akadora. They have a pwn already of fives. I think I would try for, oh boy, maybe all pwn. Okay, we'll have to wait and see for this one because they do have a pair of dragons. A pair of dragons is a yaku and it's also a han. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for west. For West, I think I would play Pin Fu, but it's pretty bleak because they have isolated tiles here. They do have a four crack that might come in handy with Dora if they draw it. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But they have mixed suits, three, four, and four. Three cracks, four dots, four bams. So I think I would go ahead and leverage all those number tiles and get rid of these honors. Just two honors. 
Okay, let's see what North can do. Okay. They have two pair here. One thing I'm noticing is they've got ones and nines. If they had dragons, I would play 13 orphans. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tiles towards 13 orphans. You know what I think I would do? I think I would try for Hanitsu, hold the nine and the one nine, the terminals here, get rid of the six crack and see if we could play 13 orphans and fall back on Hanitsu. Let's start by discarding eight dot. And we can draw four south. Two crack. Let's get rid of the one dot and draw four west. White dragon. Okay, that could bring them a Yaku and some score. So let's, there's chi potential there. Let's discard the one dot and draw four north. Eight bam. Let's get rid of this six crack and draw four east. One crack. Okay. One potential chi pair chi potential chi pair. One, two, three, four, five. But we already have a pair. Let's get rid of the two dot. We only need one pair. So here we have one, two, three, four blocks. So we can still play half flush maybe. We'll see. Let's draw four south. One bam, discard. Drawing four west. Eight bam. Okay, so bams are coming in there. They have a pair of white dragon. Let's discard this one crack. And we can draw four north. Four dot. Okay, I'm thinking half flesh for them. Let's get rid of the eight bam. We still don't have to decide yet. Let's draw four east. If they're playing uh, Hanitsu, I think I'm going to go ahead and chow. We'll chow and then discard the two dot. Let's draw four south, white dragon. And now we have to decide what to do here. If we play, try to collect BAMs and honors, leverage that Akadora, let's hold the five. Let's, let's discard this two crack and draw four west. I was just thinking that maybe we can get the other Akadora or five dot and play triple pwn. I like to dream big. Two bam, nice. So now we have potential pwn, potential chi, potential chi, potential pwn, one, two, three, four, five blocks. So I try not to let my pair that I'm waiting on, because we could pwn that, pwn that, chi, chi, that would end up being the pair. I don't want to have an honor be my pair. Let's discard this four crack and draw four north. Six crack, not helpful. We want dots. Let's draw four east. Two crack, shoot. So they already have a chi out in BAMs. We need to stick with it. Let's discard the one crack and draw four south. One crack, discard. Drawing four west. Six BM, that's a keeper. Not sure how we're gonna break all this out though. Potential pwn, potential pwn. Isolated, maybe. Potential pwn, let's get rid of the eight crack. And we can draw four north. 
west. Oh yeah, that's a good one because we can maybe pwn that. That can help them get to a half flush, even though they're north and that's the west wind. That's not going to give them score in and of itself, but it will help them get to a half flush. Let's go ahead and discard the nine crack. I'm thinking half flush. They have a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi, pair, one, two, three, four, and then they could pair up here. But same with this one. I don't want to have an honor be my winning weight. So let's draw four nor or east. Eight dot discard. And we can draw four south. One crack. Discard. Drawing four west. Eight crack. Discard. Drawing four north. Five dot. Oh, that was a nice tile. Let's give up on 13 orphans. Long shot. Nine crack, and we can draw four east, north. Let's discard the two crack and draw four south. One dot, drawing for west, nine dot. Okay, let's discard the five dot. Nobody can take a five dot unless we break this up here. Let's see, right here, three, four, five. We already have a three, four, five. Let's hold off and draw. Because if we can do this concealed, we can reach. Nine crack, discard. Drawing four east. Green dragon, keep it. Let's discard this three crack. And they are cleared to half flush, also called Hanitsu. Let's draw four south. They got an east. And we're saying it is east round, so that could bring them some score. Let's get rid of the six crack. Probably the nine crack would have been a better discard because they're already out. We'll throw that next. Let's draw for west. Red dragon. Oh, nice. Let's discard the seven dot. And we can draw four north. Eight bam. Let's get rid of these terminals. One bam. And draw four east. Okay, that's a good keeper right there. Three, four, five, seven, nine. This could be a potential pwn. This could be a potential chi. Oh, we could split it out like this. Three, four, five, seven, nine. One, two, three. These are both potential cheese and that's a potential pwn. So now we have to make a decision on these honors. None are out. If we're east, this could bring score. The dragons could bring score. So let's go ahead and get rid of the south. And then we'll get rid of the north next. So nobody can take a south. We're going to draw for south. Four crack. Let's just keep that for a bit and discard the nine crack. And we can draw four west. Two crack. Drawing for north. Oh, six dot, very nice. There's a chi, chi, potential chi, pair, potential pwn. We need to pair up here. A south was discarded, so we might be able to discard that, but these are off suit. Let's discard nine ma'am. And we can draw for east, but instead of drawing, let's pwn. And then we can discard the north. So they have two exposures now. And we can draw for south because nobody can take that north. Eight crack. All right, let's hold the eight crack. We could do all pwn. Here's a potential pwn, pwn, potential pwn, potential pwn. Let's discard the four crack and draw for west. Four bam. Okay, that's kind of nice. One, let's see, we have one, 
two, three, four, five pair. If we get one more pair, we could play Chitoitsu, which is a half uh, Chitoitsu and half flesh. That would be five Han. Let's discard the eight dot. Because Chitoitsu is four Han, I believe. No, it's two Han. So this would be a three Han. No, 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 four Han, because Chitoitsu is two Han, and then half flesh is two fawn, or two fawn, so that would be four fawn. Okay, still decent. Let's draw four north. Six dot. Okay. One, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pair. This could be a good pair here. Let's get rid of the eight bam. We could still maybe do this concealed and reach. So let's draw four east. Four dot, that can be discarded. Four dot, nobody can take a four dot, so we're gonna draw four south. Four crack, let's discard the four crack. And we can draw four west. Two bam. Okay, so now I'm thinking probably half flesh, pawn of, pawns of dragons. We have a pawn, here's a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi. We got a little too much potential going on, nine dot. I'm really hoping that we can pwn those dragons because those are a yaku and a fawn each. Let's draw for north. Now they could, let me put that back, they could chi that nine dot. We have a one, two, or one, three, Here's a three, four, five, a pair of sixes, seven, eight. If they chi the nine dot, we could discard the south and be one away from ready. And that would be an exposed hand. So that would be a two fawn hand, including Akadora, which would be three fawn. Let's go ahead and chi. It is, you know, somewhat of a low score. So the game is getting on though. We're, we're, We've got about one wall left, really. So let's go ahead and expose and discard the south. I just realized this is Dora. That's terrible. Try to build around Dora. I think I was so focused on half flesh, I forgot about Dora. Live and learn. Okay, we're gonna draw four east. Six crack, that's a discard. We're gonna draw four south. Two dot, discard. Drawing four west. One bam. Okay, let's see if we can rearrange this a little bit. So we have a one, two, three. Here's a pair. Here's a pair. Here's a pair. Eight bam. Let's discard the eight bam. Maybe we could even do all pwn if anyone will discard bams. Pwn, 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 pwn. We need a pair in there. Let's see what happens. We'll draw four north. Seven dot. Okay, that was a good tile. So we have a one, three, three, four, five. There's a pair, that's kind of isolated. Let's get rid of the east. Nobody can take, oh, there, pwn. So let's see, that would be from north. So yeah, um, south, we'll discard south. And draw for West, nine dot, let's discard that. Drawing four north, seven dot, oh nice. Okay, now we have to choose. We have a pair, 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 chi. So we have one, let's see, they have a chi out already. So there's one, two, three, four, five. We can get rid of the one dot. We just need to pwn up here. Let's draw four east, west. None of these are out. They have to make, oh, east, east is a safe tile. 
we'll discard and draw four south, seven bam. We can keep that and discard five crack. It's just not coming in. Let's draw four west, seven bam. Oh, we got rid of that eight crack. Let's stick with the plan and discard the seven bam and draw four north, three crack. Drawing four east, red dragon. Okay, those are all scary. Let's discard the west. North is going to pung or pone, P-O-N, pone. They're poning from east. And then we're gonna discard the three dot and they're ready to win on either a seven dot or a six dot. So North has a Chi out in dots and a Pwn of West. They're ready on what's called a double weight. So that's pretty strong weight. So they're playing Hanitsu and they have Akadora. a while for them to get there but better late than never let's draw four east three dot or three bam we got a three bam so now we have to discard these scary tiles let's discard the green dragon and we can draw four south they actually have a pair let's pwn it and now we have to discard they have a pair here that they can pwn. The West was pwned. That's a safe discard. Let's discard that. So let's draw for West, seven crack. And we can draw four North. Oh, nine dot, discard. And we can draw four east, two bam, two, three, four, three, five, four, five. They have scary tiles, four, five, two, two bam, pwn, chi potential, chi potential, chi potential. There's one, two, three more picks. Three more picks. I'm gonna discard a red. If that makes you cringe, write it in the comment section. Pwn. Pwn for West. And we'll discard the one bam. Okay. There are three one bams out. Okay, let's just see what happens. So let's draw four north. They drew a north, we're gonna discard that. And draw four east, three crack. Drawing four south, seven crack. Drawing four west. Three crack. We need to try to get to 10 pi. North, seven crack. So 10 pi means you're ready to win. Right now, north is ready to win. South is one away. This player, I think, is uh, one away from winning as well. This player is also one away from winning. Everybody's one away from winning. So we're gonna draw four east, four dot, discard. Drawing four south, five dot, discard. Drawing four west, nine dot. And now we can draw four north, 
One bam. One bam. Let's chi. And then we can discard the white dragon. So now East has three exposures all in one suit. That is a red flag. Anybody throwing BAMs should be very cautious. They may have to draw up themselves, but they're ready on a seven bam. And I threw a white dragon. We're going to pwn it. Okay, now we're going to discard. This would leave, if we discard the three bam, we would be left with a double weight. So let's discard the three bam. Ready, 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 not ready. They're one away. So let's draw four north. Red dragon, that's a safe tile. There's a pone of red dragons out already. Drawing four east, green dragon, safe tile. Drawing four south, seven crack. Drawing four, west, north. Drawing four, north. Three dot. I think we're in the same situation. How many six dots are out? None. How many seven dots are out? One, two. Two seven dots, so six dot is the only option there. We could rearrange and have this be the pair, chi. There's, let's see how many five dots and eight dots are out. There's one, two, three, eight. There's one more eight dot available. And five dots, there's two five dots out. So there's one more five dot, one more eight dot. So that's two opportunities versus only one. So let's go ahead. Let's see, four, five, six, six, seven. Let's go ahead and, and discard the seven dot. There may be a little bit more of a chance of a win here with a side weight. Let's draw four east, north. Drawing four south, five crack. Drawing four west, four dot, discard. Drawing four north, and this is the last tile. Three dot, oh, oh. Nope. Okay, we just need to make them ready. So if we go ahead and just make them ready, they'll at least be 10 pi. Let's throw seven dot. That's a safe discard. Okay, ready, ready, ready. This player pays a thousand to each of the uh, 10 pi players. If you have a mahjong set at home, give this a try. I think it's a great way to practice decision making, learning the Yaku, building stronger weights, learning when to reach or when to not, learning what to do when an opponent reaches. All those things are really critical if you want to become a better player. So I'm on this journey to improve my game using Dana Chiba's Reach Strategy Primer. Check that out. It's in the video description. It's a really great resource. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. 
Between now and the next solitaire for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.